Hello, my pretty flowers. It's me, Bridget. Does that sound like a pedophile? My pretty flowers? That sounds pedophile-y. No? Hey, pretty flowers. It's Bridget. And today we're going to be making a raspberry rose gin fizz cocktail. Spring is around the corner. I just want to lay in a field and drink a cocktail, like, full of flowers around me. And the good thing about this cocktail is, like, you kind of can in a glass. The first thing you're going to start off with is to make a raspberry simple syrup. You're going to start by just putting about a half cup of water and half cup of sugar into a saucepan on medium heat. And you just want to heat it and stir it until the sugar completely dissolves. And then you're going to take it off heat and let it cool for, like, 30-ish minutes. And then you're gonna add a cup of raspberries. And you wanna make sure that it is completely cooled down. Otherwise, your raspberries might get a little bit like jellyish and disgusting. But we want it to just taste like a lovely raspberry moment. So then you're gonna take a little potato masher. If you don't have one, you could use a big spoon or the bottom of a can or your fist if you wanna get weird. And just smush the shit out of it. So once your raspberry simple syrup is all mixed together, you're going to strain it. I personally don't mind if a few little chunks get in there. Just strain her on through. So while that kind of empties in, I'm gonna start the other part of the cocktail. You're gonna wanna take one egg white, or if you're using this glamorous option, it's usually about three tablespoons equals one egg white. <laughs> I had like an aneurysm. So then this is kind of gross, but you wanna kind of froth your egg white. So you're just gonna shake your life away. So you wanna shake it for like 10 seconds to get it frothy. Ooh. Yeah, it's gross like semen. And then you're just gonna add the rest of your ingredients. So this is gonna be about a shot of gin. Feel free to add more. And then this is a Chambord. You could use any sort of like raspberry liqueur. I would say like half, maybe a little more if you want it. Some lemon juice. This is about a tablespoon and a half. Take your raspberry simple syrup you made, and you're also gonna want about a tablespoon and a half of that. You could add more, you could add less, depending on how sweet you like it. Then you're gonna put some rose water in, because we're feeling rosy and fresh and free. I like to do like a fourth of a teaspoon, I would say. Rose water, some people say is subtle. Some people, like me, disagree. I think if you go too hard on it, gonna taste like a bag of potpourri. Add as much ice as you want. Secure the vessel and shake away. Whew, that is some cold shit. All right, so she is shooketh to high hell. And now you're just gonna pour her on in a glass. I would say about three-fourths full. And then I just like to top it off with a little bit of sparkling water. And then my favorite part, some sort of rose-themed garnish. You could use rose petals, you could put a little rosebud in there and let her float around. Or I like to use these little edible rose petals, which, do add a little bit of taste, so use them sparingly. Side note, make sure they are edible because, just trust me, the not edible ones are definitely not edible and we all wanna live. No one wants to die over a rose cocktail. That would be a little embarrassing. But then there you have a fabulous, fizzy, frothy, raspberry rose gin fizz cocktail.